Welcome to Hollywood Access, where the velvet ropes are lifted and the stars align. Get ready to step inside the captivating world of Hollywood. It is true that Travis Scott shares a child with Kylie Jenner, one of the prominent members of the Kardashian-Jenner family. The connection between Travis and the Kardashian-Jenner clan has undoubtedly fueled speculation and theories among fans and critics alike. Some fans have pointed out what they perceive as a certain witchy or occult undertone surrounding Travis Scott's connection to the Kardashian-Jenner family. From the symbolism in his music videos to their appearances in his live performances, some believe there is a deliberate attempt to create an otherworldly or mysterious aura that aligns with occult or witchy themes. Travis Scott's concerts are known for their grand visual spectacles. While some admire the creativity and edginess of his performances, others find certain images and symbols, such as inverted crosses, pentagrams, and eerie visuals, deeply unsettling. These visual elements, they argue, perpetuate a dark and occult narrative that contradicts their moral compass. The cancellation of Travis Scott's concert by the Egyptian Syndicate of Musical Professions has ignited a debate surrounding the ethical boundaries of artistic expression. Numerous individuals have voiced their dissatisfaction, believing that Scott's music and live performances include elements that promote satanic rituals and go against their religious beliefs. It seems like controversy is never far away when it comes to the world of music. The latest uproar involves rapper Travis Scott and his cancelled concert in Egypt. While initially scheduled to debut his long-awaited Utopia LP at Egypt's historic Pyramids of Giza, the event was abruptly cancelled by the Egyptian Syndicate of Musical Professions. The Egyptian Syndicate of Musical Professions, responsible for issuing permits for musical events, proclaimed that Scott's music goes against the values and traditions of Egyptian culture. Their statement suggests that the decision to cancel the concert was driven by concerns about contradictory rituals and cultural identity. Travis Scott's music and live performances are undeniably known for their exuberant and unapologetic nature. However, this unique style seems to have clashed with Egyptian societal norms. The syndicate statement references documented information about strange rituals at Scott's concerts which they deem inconsistent with their authentic cultural heritage. While art often pushes boundaries, it is essential to promote cultural sensitivity and respect. Countries like Egypt, renowned for their deep-rooted traditions and rich history, deserve to have their cultural values acknowledged and upheld. In canceling the concert, the syndicate prioritized maintaining societal stability and security while preserving Egyptian and Arab customs and traditions. Symbolism has always played a significant role in music and art, provoking thought and inspiring emotions. However, it is equally crucial to acknowledge that certain symbols hold different meanings for different cultures and spirituality. Artists must tread carefully when employing complex imagery to ensure they do not inadvertently offend or alienate their audience. In regards to the cancellation of Scott's concert in Egypt, it is essential to respect the cultural and religious sensitivities of the Egyptian people. Religious beliefs are deeply rooted in societies worldwide, and it is vital to foster an environment of understanding and tolerance when it comes to cultural events. The cancellation of Travis Scott's concert at the Pyramids of Giza by the Egyptian Syndicate of Musical Professions has raised intriguing questions and sparked discussions about the reasons behind their decision. While the syndicate statement does not explicitly mention the events that led to the cancellation, some speculate that it alludes to the tragic crowd surge that occurred at Travis Scott's Astroworld Music Festival in 2021. In the aftermath of the disastrous incident at Astroworld, a disturbing trend of satanic panic conspiracy theories emerged on social media platforms like TikTok. Some users went so far as to claim that the tragic event was intentionally orchestrated as part of a satanic ritual. However, as someone concerned about the potential influence of dark and occult imagery in his performances, I can understand why some might find it uncomfortable or unsettling. It's essential for artists to be mindful of their impact and the boundaries they push, especially considering cultural sensitivities. Jacques Berman Webster II, better known by his stage name Travis Scott, is a prominent American rapper, singer, songwriter, and record producer. Born on April 30, 1991, Scott initially gained recognition in the music industry through his catchy and genre-blending style. Scott's stage name pays homage to his favorite uncle and one of his inspirations, Kid Cudi, Scott Mascuti. In 2012, he signed with Epic Records for his first major label contract and also secured a publishing deal with Kanye West's Good Music. The following year, Scott signed a joint recording contract with Epic and T.I.'s Grand Hustle imprint. 
In 2013, Scott released his first full-length project, the self-released mixtape Al Faro, which gained attention for its innovative sound and unconventional approach. He followed up with his second mixtape, Days Before Rodeo, in 2014, further solidifying his place in the hip-hop scene. Scott's debut studio album, Rodeo, was released in 2015 and featured the hit single Antidote, the album's success propelled him into the mainstream, and his subsequent album, Birds in the Trap Sing McKnight, 2016, became his first number one album on the Billboard 200 chart. In 2017, Scott collaborated with Quavo from the group Migos to release the collaborative album Huncho Jack, Jack Huncho, released under the name Huncho Jack. The project showcased Scott's versatility and further solidified his presence in the industry. Scott's third studio album, Astroworld, arrived in 2018 and received critical acclaim. It gained popularity for its unique production and featured collaborations with notable artists. The album's lead single, Sicko Mode, featuring Drake, became Scott's first number one single on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. In 2019, Scott's record label, Cactus Jack Records, released the compilation album Jack Boys, which topped the Billboard 200 chart. This further demonstrated Scott's ability to curate successful projects and assemble a talented roster of artists. Continuing his streak of success, Scott achieved another milestone in 2020 with his single franchise, featuring Young Thug and M.I.A. He became the first artist to have three songs debut at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 in less than a year. The Astroworld Festival tragedy that occurred on November 5, 2021, marked a devastating moment in concert history. The event, founded by Travis Scott and held at NRG Park in Houston, Texas, took a tragic turn when a fatal crowd crush occurred during the first night of the festival. The incident occurred amid the chaos of Scott's concert, resulting in the loss of 10 lives and numerous injuries. Reports suggest that the festival had already been facing crowd control challenges on the previous day, but the fatal crush occurred during Scott's performance itself. Eight people tragically lost their lives that night, and an additional two individuals passed away in the following days. The cause of death was determined to be accidental compressive asphyxiation, with one person also affected by a combination of drugs and alcohol. Twenty-five concertgoers required hospitalization, while over 300 people sought treatment for injuries at the festival's field hospital. The incident was widely documented by attendees through videos and social media posts, shedding light on the chaos and panic that unfolded during and after the concert. Travis Scott faced significant criticism for his handling of the incident, with many questioning his awareness of the severity of the situation while he continued to perform. Scott's subsequent apology video went viral but faced immense backlash and was turned into an internet meme. The controversy surrounding his actions and the tragic event prompted numerous lawsuits, with legal action filed against Scott and various individuals and entities involved in organizing and promoting Astroworld. Due to the tragedy and ongoing legal proceedings, the remainder of the festival was cancelled, and no Astroworld festival has been held since. The incident sparked widespread discussions about crowd control, concert safety, and the responsibilities of artists and organizers to ensure the well-being and security of attendees. On June 29, 2023, a Texas grand jury concluded its investigation into the incident, announcing that they declined to indict Travis Scott or any other parties on criminal charges. While this decision provided some legal clarity, the tragedy continues to be a painful reminder of the importance of prioritizing attendee safety and implementing effective crowd management protocols at large-scale events. And that's a wrap. Thank you all for joining us on this thrilling adventure through the dazzling world of Hollywood. We strive to bring you the most engaging and informative content, and we truly appreciate your support and enthusiasm. Remember to like, comment, and share your favorite videos, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a beat.